In this video, we're covering some amazing tips and tricks and some hidden features that you could do on the latest version of Windows 11. Yes, I know my target audience is primarily focused with Apple products, but you know what? I don't care because I know for a darn fact, everybody, even Apple users, will encounter a Windows computer at work, at school, and etc. And I recently personally purchased a Windows gaming computer, a gaming laptop, just to play some modern games with the boys. And so doing what I like to do best is just play with the settings, find some unique features, and cover some tips and tricks I develop over time that I know everybody will benefit off from and will make your whole window operating experience a whole lot better. So make sure to leave this video a like right now because I know for a fact that this might actually damage and hurt my channel. Because I really don't care, I like uploading what I like to do, and that is to help inform users so they can experience a pleasant operating experience when it comes to operating their electronics. So with that said, let's go ahead and start this video. Now this is the new Windows taskbar. It's now focused more in the center. If you like to reverse back to it, to the original previous Windows operating system version, you could totally do so. Just pick a blank space, right click, and just go into the settings right here. And go ahead and uh, down click on the taskbar behavior. And here, where it says taskbar alignment, move it back to the left, and there you go. This is all personal preference, of course. Now you may have noticed, whenever you right click on a file, you, you now have like this new right click menu. This is what Microsoft believes that most user really needs but if you have to use the old school right click you can always go down here and just click on show more options and this will reverse back to the previous familiar right click menu now if you ever have to do a presentation with a lot of people and you actually has a, have a lot of icons i highly recommend right clicking in the view section right here on the desktop go ahead and just uncheck desktop icons and now everything's clean so you can easily present whatever presentation you're trying to present with everybody. Now a pretty cool, I guess somewhat of a gesture is the ability to shake your window. It will close everything else except for the window that you, ju you just shook. So in order to enable this unique feature, all you have to do is click on the little windows icon right here and then search for your settings. From here, Make sure you're in the uh, system tab and scroll down till you see multitasking. From here, just go ahead and turn on title bar window shake. And now, whenever you have multiple windows open up at once, just violently shake the main window you wanna work on and then they all will close down. They're still open, but just minimize. Now, the most efficient way to multitask is when you have all your open windows all organized. If you actually go over this little box icon right next to the X, if you hover over it, it will actually give you different rows to organize your multiple windows you have open. Really do take advantage of this. It's super easy to use. No need to rely on a third party. Now, some of the little shortcut apps you have right here on the taskbar, you may have noticed we some of these are stuck on the taskbar you're unable to remove. Unfortunately, if you really want to remove these things and clear up some space, which I recommend doing, go back into the taskbar settings and go into the personalization section. Scroll down to where you find taskbar. And right here, this is where you actually go in and turn them off. So if you don't want to see these icons anymore, that's how you do it. Now on this corner right here where your Wi-Fi audio and stuff is usually located, these little widgets right here, or not widgets, these little shortcuts right here, it's fully customizable. If you tap the little pen icon, you can remove some of these. And to add more, you have these to select from. Now, if you'd like to make your start menu more useful, simply just go into settings real quick. Let me show you this cool thing. Go into the personalization and then scroll down to where you see start. Go into folders and here, enable the things you actually like to have quick access to, like documents, this, uh, explore photos, pictures if you like personal folders, music, downloads. And now whenever you launch the start menu, you have quick shortcut access right here instead of having to go into your folders and find everything like that. And while we're still covering the start menu, these pin apps, you could easily remove them by right click and unpin like so. And if you'd like to add pin apps, just go into the all apps section, look for the app you'd like to actually have, right click, pin to start, and now it's right there and added. And yes, if you long press or long click on one, you could easily click and drag it and reorganize it to your personal preference. Now when gaming, if you want to have quick access to the Microsoft Xbox menu, while gaming, 
Just hold that window button, the window key, and press G at the same time. Here you can monitor the performance, game chat, your friends list, your capture settings, and so much more. And if you like to minimize your Windows gaming window, you'll see what I mean. Press the Windows key and seven at the same time, it will minimize it so you have quick shortcut access to your desktop without having to exit the game. Now notifications is integrated on the Windows 11 and this, in my opinion, is really annoying because I don't want my Windows computer to behave just like my smartphone. If you like to disable the upcoming notifications like this, just go ahead and go into taskbar and go into systems and here in the notification section, just here is the on and off. Just turn it off completely and save yourself the headache and be more productive, which is my advice. I like having this off because I want to work on a Windows computer. I don't need distractions like my smartphone. But if you do like these notifications or if there's some specific notifications you wish to continue receiving, you could adjust it and customize it right here by just turning it off and on. Now, if you wish to change your default web browser, all you have to do is go into settings, go into apps, and go into default apps. Look for the web browser choice you like to use. I'm, in my case, I'm gonna use Google Chrome. And then right here where it says HTML, I don't want this to open up with Microsoft Edge. I'm gonna select Chrome. And you gotta do it with all the other different files that has available. So next time you click on the URL link, the default one is gonna be Google Chrome for me, Firefox for you, or another third party web browser. Now you may have noticed, I have dark mode enabled on my PC. You can still do that. Just go into the window section, go into settings and personalization, go into colors, and here where it says choose your mode, dark and light. And of course you can customize it and actually create like a custom schedule. And if you like to enable night light mode, you can just always go into system and go into display. And where it says night light, enable, and there you have it. If you like to create a custom schedule for this, you can also do that by simply tapping the arrow next to it. You could change the strength, adjust the strength right here, and schedule night light right here. And you can set the exact hour, or you can have it by default sunset to sunrise. Now widget access, you could access it right here, where it typically will say the temperature. You can add more widgets right here. You can manage your interests, all that good stuff. It's like a smartphone, you can sign out if you like. You can remove them, some of these widgets right here, but I found out if you tap the little dots right here, this also allows you to customize that widget even more. So yeah, play around with it. You can search the web here as well. You can use your fingerprint to sign in or facial recognition to verify and see if your machine is compatible with the device to do that. All you have to do is go into settings, go into accounts, and here where it says sign in option, you have facial recognition for Windows Hello. Mine says it's currently unavailable, but if your machine supports it, you'll see it right here and just walk through the whole same process, super easy, or the fingerprint reader as well. And of course, you can also switch to the pin. If you don't want to type in your password, you can switch to a pin. So like so, security key is here as well. But these are the uh, different sign-in options you can use instead of the default typing in your password. Now, while we're still here, another cool thing is the dynamic lock. Basically, what this allows you to do is pair your smartphone to your Windows computer and if you go into the dynamic lock different uh, settings with the down row, allow to automatically lock your device when you walk away. Go through the pairing process, but basically as soon as you walk away with your phone on hand, your PC will automatically lock. Now before I go through the pairing process, how you pair your smartphone to your Windows computer, down here you also have different th settings you can also adjust down here. I highly recommend taking a look at this, but pretty much everything is self-explanatory. But from here with this enabled, go into your settings, and go into Bluetooth and devices, add device, click on Bluetooth on the very top, go on your smartphone, go on to this Bluetooth device, go into newly discovered devices, wait for it to load and look for something that revolves around your PC computer. Select it and now your machine is paired. So now whenever you walk away with your smartphone, your laptop or computer will automatically lock itself. Now if you're sick and tired of a bunch of apps randomly launching as soon as you start your machine, you can turn these off and it's really easy to do so. All you gotta do to disable these is just go into settings, go into apps and select start up. Just go ahead and go down the list and turn off the ones that are just unnecessary. And there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about my PC, 
my machine that I recently purchased, I actually went ahead and reviewed it. And you can click on that video right there. That little eye icon should pop up. Aside from that, if you enjoy these type of tech products where I just reviewed the uh, hidden features and some cool tips and tricks I found over time to make operating that machine a whole lot better and a, and a pleasant experience for everybody, make sure you are subscribed because I basically do this all the time. And I'm never brand loyal. I guess you could tell by this video. So for those also honest reviews, make sure you are subscribed. If you'd like to watch more, feel free to check out this video over here. As that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. And if you'd like to know how I managed to mod my PS5 into a PS5 Pro, check out that video over there as I basically cover everything like I said. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.